Welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to be speaking about the lessons I learned as a ski instructor, how I apply those to my business, and how you can apply them to your business as well. Welcome to this edition of Peak Performers Podcast with your host, Thor Conklin. Thor will be sharing the necessary tools, strategies, and psychology you'll need to become a peak performer in any area of your life or business. Thor Conklin here. We give you the tricks, the tips, the tools, the strategy, the technology, and the psychology peak performers use in order to get more done and execute at the highest level. If you know what to do but struggle with getting it all done, or simply want to raise your game to the next level, this podcast is for you. Sit back and enjoy. Today's show is sponsored by Audible.com. For your free 30-day trial and free audiobook download, simply go to audibletrial.com forward slash peak performers. You know, it's a great way to also go skiing. Listen to your favorite audiobook. Great way to do it. Now, you're probably sitting there saying, okay, What does being a ski instructor have to do with running a business? you got to be kidding me, right? No, actually, I'm not. I'm very serious. So let's just dive right into this. First of all, when you go skiing, and especially when you're a ski instructor, first thing that you need to do, make sure that you have the right equipment. Make sure that you're dressed properly for the day, not only for the weather that's going on right now, but also the weather that might show up what you're not expecting, and it's very different at the bottom of the mountain than it is at the top of the mountain. You must be prepared for whatever comes your way. We always had multiple lenses for our goggles. Why? Conditions change. You never know when you might have to change something out to have better optics. Always have a backup. When you're giving a presentation, do you have a backup to the slides that are on your computer? Do you have it on a thumb drive? Do you have it printed out? If something goes wrong, are you ready to move in another direction? Are you prepared? When skiing and you use the ski lift to go up the mountain, you're using that time to reflect on the run that you just had. And also you're planning out your run, knowing exactly where you're going, what's going to be coming up. Extremely important. In business, knowing what your day looks like, what your week looks like, what might come up, preparing for that. Is there a difference going down a green mark slope versus a double diamond? Absolutely. If you're not prepared, you don't have the skill sets. If you take on a black diamond, you actually might end up in hospital. In business, if you tackle something without the proper skills, resources, technology, you could be looking at a disastrous quarter or year. When you're skiing, where are you looking? Are you looking down at your feet? Are you trying to see where you are? No. You're constantly scanning the horizon to see what's coming up. You're looking at the road ahead. You want to know what obstacles are coming up. There are very dangerous things on ski slopes. The columns that support the ski lifts, trees, other skiers, ice, moguls. Now, when you go skiing, do you want to do this alone? Is this a solo sport? No. There are safety in numbers. What happens if something happens to you? You fall, you hurt yourself, have a team, have friends around you. Same thing in business. It's easier to navigate the terrain when there's others around you. Now, as a ski instructor, how often do you think I was getting lessons? Every day I was not working, I was taking lessons. Why? Because I wanted to get better. I was taking lessons from people that knew more than I did, had skills that were above mine. That's how I get better. Same thing in business. Constantly be learning constantly be figuring out how to take your skills to the next step, the next level. A great outfit, a great pair of skis, the newest technology does not set you up for success. The most expensive office space, the newest computers, the fanciest business cards do not set you up for success. Substance does. Skills do. Execution does. When you're skiing and you get tired, that's when you make mistakes. That's when you get hurt. That's when you run into things. Same thing in business. When you're not at the top of your game, that's when you start to make mistakes. When you hit the slopes, you're taking calculated risks. You're not being stupid. You're making sure that the slopes that you're going down, you know how to handle. You're operating within your skill sets. You want to be pointing your skis downhill. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. You want to get into a rhythm. You want to keep that momentum going. You want to work with the mountain. 
You don't want to fight it. There are going to be things coming your way. Obstacles, ice patches, other skiers, trees. You want to anticipate them and work with them, work around them. You want to stay flexible. The best plan and starting the run, you're at the top of a mountain, you're looking down and you go, okay, this is what I'm going to do. As you get into it, things change. You've got to adapt. You have to stay flexible. Your knees are so important in skiing. You've got to keep them like shock absorbers. In business, the same thing. Things come up. Things change. Customers do things that you don't expect. You've got to remain flexible. You've got to course correct. Above all, you want to stay focused and centered. When you're on a pair of skis, if you get off center, you're going to fall. At all times, your body mass is centered and your legs are working around your middle, around the center. Keep your eyes open. There's going to be competitors trying to compete for the same line going down the mountain that you want, right? Where the good snow is, that's where everybody wants to be. There are competitors all around you trying to get that same line. Same thing in business. Pay attention to what your competitors are doing. Keep an eye out for what's going on. Stay alert. And finally, enjoy the process. Enjoy the view. Here you are on a beautiful mountain skiing. Enjoy the view. It's amazing from the top of the mountain. And in business, enjoy the view. Enjoy what you've been doing. Enjoy the accomplishments. Take time and enjoy it. If you've never skied before, go out, give it a try. Be safe. It's an amazing sport. Question of the day, where in your business might one of these analogies made help you take your business to the next level, to the top of the next mountain. Thank you so much for listening today. I really do appreciate your time, and I hope you found today's show valuable. If you would like to receive these shows automatically to your phone or to your computer, simply go to iTunes and subscribe. After listening to several of the shows, if you're so inclined, please leave us a five-star rating, as this helps us reach additional people and spread the message. If you're truly committed to taking your life to the next level and doing whatever it takes to become a peak performer, but something's holding you back, something is blocking your way, and you just can't seem to figure out what it is, send me an email to info at thorconklin.com, and I'd be more than happy to get on the phone with you. We'll schedule a 15-minute discovery call. No obligation, no cost. I absolutely love to hear from the listeners, and if there's something I can do to help, I'd be more than happy to do that. Also, if you found something of great interest in today's show and you want to share that with your friends and family, simply go to my Facebook page, Thor Conklin, click on the episode, hit the share button, and share it on your page. You can follow me at Twitter at Thor Conklin. The website is ThorConklin.com. We're constantly adding new free resources, discussing additional tricks, tips, tools, and strategies on how to be a peak performer. Remember, I try to keep these episodes short so you can listen to them during dot time, doing other things, commuting, driving, walking, working out. Decide to be a peak performer in all that you do. And until tomorrow, have an absolutely amazing day.